So I wanted to go ahead and record this for you guys and uh, kind of put out there in the universe, you know, if you will, that the free to play, oh, free to play, free to play, excuse me. Sounds like I was talking about some sort of food, but no, the free to play Ultra Instinct Goku is actually pretty solid. Uh, and funnily enough, one of his better friends is actually this Piccolo. It would be awesome if this Piccolo was an attack support, but they do trigger experienced fighters and the first awakened among the two. So we're going to go ahead and show them off. Hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new for more content. And it's been a very freaking long time since I've used uh, Piccolo. But I wanted to show him off kind of like at his base, if you will. He has no potential system. He does get, I believe, plus 3,000. So keep in mind, he'll hit better. He'll tank better and things of that nature. So... This is the links that he has. He also starts off at 9 key. This is like the best thing about him, to be honest, because he gives himself that additional key to begin the turn. So we're going to go ahead and actually put him back in the first slot because it really doesn't make a difference for him. Uh, don't worry too much about Piccolo because he's here just to look cute, pretty much. <laughs> he's not going to do anything, but um, we're going to go ahead and give you those. That's fine. But I'm actually really interested to see what Goku does. I'm going to keep Goku on rotation with Piccolo. So for today's question of the day, do you guys think that UI Goku will awaken today? Question mark, question mark, question mark. We are going to see the mastered form today. I imagine it will probably be in the last few minutes of the episode, but we should see that today, okay? So that's a thing. Um, now, I'm on global clearly right now. I don't know if that means global will get it too at the same time. I don't think they will, to be honest. But it's possible. Anything's possible. Uh, but still, let me know in the comments what you guys think for today's question of the day. So, we're going to give these to Pan. That's fine. And by the way, I didn't really comment on it, but he hit for uh, basically a full life bar, which is actually pretty solid. Again, this is an older event, but I did an older event to kind of mitigate, or not mitigate, but kind of uh, equalize the fact that he didn't have any sort of potential boost. You know, uh, it allows him to hit it just a smidge harder, right? That means everybody else will too, but you get my point. So Gotenks is going to get that ally boost from Pan's super attack alongside double supports and Super Saiyan and the Innocents. He, like, will hit really hard. <laughs> All right. So Gotenks coming through with a 1.7. No crit necessary. All right. So this time, actually, Goku has a 40% support in the last slot, too. He only triggers Saiyan lineage, so that means I don't care about it. But he also gets the three key, and he's getting 70% defense alongside 40% more defense alongside the attack links with Piccolo, which, again, that's 35% attack, I believe, I believe, believe, excuse me, between First Awakened and uh, Experienced Fighter. So, yeah, he's getting some really solid links, to be honest. So we're going to give you give Goku those, excuse me. I can't talk today, apparently. It's just not in my, uh, it's not in my vocab to talk right today. So I'm actually really curious to see what he does here. Attacks that will probably get close to 600,000. Wow, grossly overestimated. <laughs> oh, man. So he's hitting almost 500K if we round up, which is honestly not bad. You know, he's SA-10. He's a free-to-play unit. He's definitely one of the better ones. Starts off at 9 key while also supporting his allies that are a part of the category as well, which is a very, very nice perk. I mean, the biggest issue with that unit and some of the better free-to-play units like him and Int Trunks, for example, is that they share a name with a Gacha unit that is just really, really good. And that's the main issue with that guy. It's kind of like, you know, if you have the other one and you have the other one with potential system and stuff like that, there's really no reason to use this one unless you want to use them exclusively, for example, on like a physical team. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so this time he's going to get 35% as opposed to 40. So nothing really spectacularly different or anything like that. Uh, what is that? Gaze of Respect? Oh, Shattering the Limit. I was going to say, I don't think that Gohan has that link. <laughs> Mainly only teen Gohan has that, or adolescent Gohan, or whatever they call him. So 35% this time through. I actually should have probably healed, because I'm honestly kind of low. Look at Piccolo! <laughs> Alright, Goku's attack is about as much as it was last round. So, again, 425,000. While well, taking 5,000 back on a uh, normal attack. This is going to hit pretty hard. Honestly, I'm not mad at the Goku. I'm very, very impressed, to be honest, because with a critical hit, with potential system investment, he'd be doing over 700k right now, at least. Honestly, he may even crack a million with some of these support options that I have. So I'm actually very, very impressed. And again, Gotenks is probably just going to finish. He has double supports. Again, he has the Innocence and Fierce Battle, which I don't know if I pointed out that he had Fierce Battle last time. But yeah, Gotenks is definitely going to clean up here. Goodbye, Blue Kyle Ken. It was nice knowing you, bruh. Yeah. 
<laughs> that man over here with three million just again casually with a crit. I guess I don't know if casually is the right terminology, but still, he makes it look super easy. All right, so we're gonna take on Freeze's event, which is actually really good. We're gonna go after Sorbet. We're gonna shoot a Kamehameha right in Sorbet's face. All right, pick it outside. Uh, what do? Oh, this is what do. This is what do. Yeah, that's what do. Right there, blue for you. And we will, uh, we'll just, you know, kind of do that. Goodbye, Sorbet. I, I expect I had to take out Sorbet. I 100% expect it. But you know what? Just realized I had these wonky items with me. We're going to buff its attack by 25%. Excuse me, I totally meant to click the blue orbs. That was a 100% accident. Uh, but regardless of that, I was going to say he doesn't actually have a support in that last slot, so it's kind of not going to show so much. Look at that 700k critical. I wish it was a critical, but I meant type advantage because apparently I still can't talk today. But look at him taking 12 damage. Oh, there's a critical. <laughs> All right. The pan of the first slot is going to be wild here. She can pull off a super, that is. But she can't, apparently. Yeah, there's no super. Well, rip the dream, then. Uh, not that it matters, though, because, I mean, I still win. Still get my 11, right? No, oh, I messed it up, but whatever. It's not like it matters on this stage at all, what I do. No pen! Okay, she only took 14k, I'm not mad. Seriously, Pan? I expected your normal attack to finish Frieza off. What a waste of a super attack. <laughs> Four million. <laughs> Uh, old stage, ladies and gentlemen, old stage. Okay, well, at least this time he has a support with him. So, why not just give him some more attack? Alright, three turn boost. That means I'll get to see him again, actually, which is awesome. So, we'll let you go uh, right there. We'll let Gohan and Piccolo attack Shisami. And you're going to go after Tagoma? And it's all good. It's all good. We are set. I want to see if, like, they can take him out. Actually, what's this going to do? 19k with type advantage. I'm actually very impressed right there from Piccolo. And his defense got lowered. It looks like, anyway. 564,000. Can we get some good damage? There we go. That would have high key been, like, 900k on a type advantage unit or something wild like that. Okay, this is the longest I think I have ever taken on this round of this event. Ever. All right, there we go with that. And lastly, we're going to give you that. So Gotenks, of course, it is going to take out Shisami this time. This is literally the longest I think I've ever taken on this event. All right, well, we got UI back. He actually has type disadvantage this time. So without the ability to crit, he's not going to be you know, phenomenal or anything like that. But I'm getting dangerously close to a Dokkan attack. So if I can position this right and beat uh, this event with the Dokkan event intact, like this round of the event, then I'll be set. Which I don't really know if I can do. Maybe, because the support from Gohan means I can basically get Gotenks' uh, what's it called? 11 key super easy. But it doesn't really matter what I get with Gotenks as long as he crits, really. Gotta avoid the friggin' orbs, right? That are um, physical. I think Gotenks wins either way, to be honest. Don't you dare. Of course. Of course. Of course. Just to be a rebel. I'm going to go ahead and ignore this just so I can be rebellious. Not even doing it. I'm looking away. And I know Gotenks. He's going to crit for me. Even though it's not mine, right? I don't have the same trust in the ally one, but he's going to do it either way. And even if he doesn't, he's going to finish it. Told you. Yeah. It's uh, Gotenks doesn't play around, but it's, oh, what a waste. Gotenks, man. If he didn't super early, I could have avoided that super. So the Gohan key actually wound up working against me in the grand scheme of things. How ironic. All right, let's see what UI can do here, though. And either way, this freeze is going down. Man, I wish that Piccolo offered at least like 20% attack. Like, it's not super sizable, but it's freaking good enough. That Piccolo would be a mainstay on a lot of teams. Or if he offered, like, key as well. Because he, he's kind of hard to run sometimes because uh, he doesn't have good key links. I mean, he has Shattering the Limit, which I apparently was able to trigger earlier. But still, it's not a good link uh, for him anyway and the teams he'd be on. It's a good link for some units, though. I will say that I've, I've always advocated that, or at least I have 
for a long while now. 11 key super double support. I honestly expect Gotenks to finish off Frieza. I like honestly expect it. Yeah. Well, Gohan might actually wind up doing it, it looks like. There we go. I don't mind that too much, because at least um, I get UI against the, the suicide stage here. With a potential double support. If I give... No, I can't give Pan a super anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I was say if I get Pan a super and get her ally attack boost from her super attack mechanic, if that would help. But... It all rests on your shoulders, UI. This is the final attack of the video. Charge that spear bomb by hitting that like button. Let's try to get 800 likes on this video thus far. And let's see if UI Goku can one-shot what remains of Frieza. All right. Six, 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 six. <laughs> that means it's going to happen confirmed. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> All right, well, I hope that you guys did enjoy this. Uh, so all in all, UI Goku is an awesome unit. And to answer my own question from earlier in the video, the question of the day, uh, so JP is going to be getting the Terminal of Power event back uh, in a few days, right? In a couple of days, two or three days. So that could mean that we end tonight with an in-game announcement or something like that. So maybe we wake up tomorrow with an in-game announcement for something because they haven't dropped a Dokkan Festival for a while. They've clearly been putting out those LR banners. Uh, and I don't know if they want another banner to coincide with LR Broly's, but it is what it is because LR Broly's banner hasn't aired yet. But I think we'll actually see something uh, and you know we'll get notice. Even if they don't drop a new banner, maybe they just awaken the uh, UI Goku in-game and again, just don't even turn them into Mastered. Even though I want them to, I just kind of feel like that's what they're gonna do. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you guys for the continued support. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And uh, we'll be back later on with the review of the latest episode of Super. Take it easy, guys.